Well, Sarah, you heard from President Biden that there are some actions being announced today, but much more needs to be done. In that speech, he was calling on retailers who order these goods in uh, high numbers, as well as freight rail and trucking companies to do their part uh, to help unlock some of this capacity and get these goods to consumers. He says that they want to incentivize these companies to make these changes, but that he is not going to back down from taking federal action uh, if he needs to, to loosen up some of these log jams. We've heard from the Commerce Secretary, who has said that in 45 days or just less than that, she would be happy to use the Defense Production Act to compel some of these companies to provide more information about their supply chain if that is what it takes to actually fix the problem. Behind the scenes, as President Biden's approval rating has been eroding in recent weeks as the administration deals with legislative chaos, rifts with allies, and geopolitical uncertainty, the last thing that the administration wants is for any sort of cloud over the holiday season in December uh, to impact the way that consumers and potentially voters think about uh, what the administration has done here. So they are calling it a 90-day sprint to the end of the year, and today is just one part of the actions that the White House is going to take as they sprint to the what they see as the finish line. Sarah and Will.